Moving on with the last part of our thing, we're going to create the little hook at the top and a little cylinder that's going to go through to an arm back into the mouth of our frilling little spider here. And we can see in the reference images that we've got basically just a cylinder that's going through, a little cylinder on the top, and then a little rectangle going back. And with that in mind, let's go ahead and create a cylinder to work with. So we're just selecting on our cylinder and we're just going to left click and drag out our shape. We don't want it too large, just large enough that it lets us hook on to. And we need to go ahead and take down our subdivision amount for the axis. I'm just going to drop that down to about 8, something that we can manage a little bit easier. As I'm looking at it, let's see if we can't get that set up nice and close there. There we go. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and drop into my face mode. Select on the polys here. I'm going to deselect the ones in the middle. So I have just the two ends. With the ends selected, going into my modeling toolkit, and I'm going to use my bevel options. And I am just going to bump up the segment amount and then push this out just a little bit. We want a nice little bevel, sort of tight right around the edge, just so it softens it up for us. Alright, that looks pretty good like that. We can go ahead and go back into our object mode. And selecting on that, I'm going to make a copy of it. And then let's go ahead and scale this guy down, just along these axes here. And then let's go ahead and push him back out. There we go, just enough that he's kind of clearing both sides so we get a nice covering around that thing. Alright, so that gives us a good piece and a good connection piece. What we need now is just a rectangle that comes back out, so our arm. So I'm just selecting on my cube. And let's just drag out our basic shape here. Something about that. Just wide enough that we know it's not going to fall apart, but it's going to stay together when he bites at something. And let's go ahead and get a nice soft angle on there. There we go. I think we could even make that angle just a little bit more. Right about there. That looks good. Okay, so now we need the connection down here. And basically it's going to be taking the same two pieces here. Control D, as in dog. And we're just going to be making that switch down to here. And this guy is going to need to tie into the side. So we're going to pull him over a little. Go into our vertex mode. Let's pick the piece that we want to go into our vertex mode. There we go. And we're just going to pull this guy over a little bit. All right, so that gives us a nice set of pieces that really define that shape for us. Let's go ahead and select on these. And with these selected, what we really want to do, we want this as just one object for right now. So let's go ahead and set this back to our modeling and into our mesh and into combine. So this way we've got one solid object. And if we're looking for our pivot point over here, if it's over here, we can always just adjust it. We've got our move tool on. We can do edit our pivot point. And let's bring this guy over here. And we'll set this a little bit closer. Into here. There we go. So with that set, what we want to do is we want to just scale this down just a little bit because he's just a little bit big. Right about there looks pretty good. Alright, so I'm just going to move this guy right about in where he's going to go. And then we have a little bit of an angle. I don't want to say it's a 45, but let's see what we've got. We're somewhere in here. We're looking at about a 
negative 35, there we go. Alright, so that should plug in nicely right about in there. We're going to hit Control D on the keyboard. And let's go ahead and rotate this guy back to zero. And then let's go ahead and mirror this guy because we haven't actually used the mirror tools before. The scaling was going to give us a little bit of a flip normal, so. And in fact, we're going to do one quick thing with this. We'll make a copy. We're going to set it to a group, control G. And then we'll do a negative one. When we set it to the group like that, it's going to reset it just right so that we can make an inverted mirror for it. There we go. And that should do it for the front fangs. What we have on the bottom side are going to be the smaller ones. So let's take a peek at those. We can see those right in here. And they're basically the exact same model, just scaled down a little bit. So we're going to scale this one down. And in fact, we'll go ahead and select both of these. Control D, Control G. Let's see what we want to do. We could flip them around like this, and I think that's going to do it. So we're going to want those angled in just a little bit more, so we're going to have to tweak these just a little bit. So let's just see if we can't tweak these just slightly. There we go, somewhere in there give us that look that we're going for and we can just find our numbers Pretty creepy. And we can select both of them, scale those down. These guys are going to set in a little bit lower in here. Pretty close to it. I think I'm going to tweak some of the rotation just a little bit, but that definitely gets us in position for it where we've got the top things and the bottom things, and we are ready for making sure that it all works together with the rest of the body. We'll take a look at that next.